Well, this is it. Last evening at the farm. Uh, spent the day washing trucks. Actually, the last couple days getting these trucks washed up. So they're good to put away for the winter. A beautiful sunset. And the weather's been holding pretty nice. We had a high of like 55 today. I think it's supposed to be 60 tomorrow. Hopefully that'll hold for my drive to the southwest. I've got quite a few miles ahead of me. I'm going to try to uh, move on in the morning. I am totally exhausted. I really just need a day to recoup, but I'm going to try to get some miles behind me tomorrow and we'll be moving on. Well, it is time to hit the road. we got a beautiful day on our hands. Sun is yet to come up here. It is a beautiful morning on the farm, but it is time to ramble on. The adventure continues. Getting on the road before sunrise here. Let's do this. Let's go. Well, we have made our way south through the state of North Dakota. Coming out of Drake, North Dakota. We are about to cross the state line into South Dakota. We can officially say goodbye, North Dakota. Hello, South Dakota. Great faces, great places. So oh, why thank you. Good to be in South Dakota. Good to be out of North Dakota. Away we go. So we're getting off here towards the southeast corner of the state of South Dakota. This is the town of Vermilion. We are just about, oh, five, six miles out of town. I am going to roll straight into the park. Fingers crossed there will be an available spot. So we'll check in when we get into town here. Hopefully it's open. I'm pretty sure it's open year round. Ah, it's closed. Are you kidding me? Oh, I thought I saw a sign that said it was open year round. Oh no, it's open. They've got that blocked off to something else. Lions Park Campground. We are going to pull in here and spend the night. Oh, perfect. I don't know why, but I was envisioning like, because harvest just ended, that there would be like a mass exodus and people camped in here. It looks like they've done some upgrades. That must be why they're charging now. These concrete pads weren't here. Oh, can you reserve? Oh, site ticket. Huh. No, I already think I see the site I'm going to park at. Got that section there closed off. So, yeah, I guess I'll just take this spot here. I remember it was a little awkward. I think last time I camped the spot right next to the little playground equipment. It was just felt weird with kids playing right outside my van. So I'm actually going to cut right through here and grab this spot so I don't have to back in. Perfect. That'll work. Let's check it out. Shower. Wow. I do not remember them having showers here. Let's check it out. Okay, so here we are. New rules and regulations. $10 per night, two night maximum stay. Must pay in advance, cash or check. Sites one and two are ADA accessible, so I won't park in one of those concrete ones. Okay, no dump station. They got their tickets here. Drop off spot here. I'm gonna check out the showers. Actually, I, now that I'm thinking about it, I think they did have showers last time. I'll have to watch my old video. Okay, looks like showers are locked. I wonder if the bathrooms are too. Around this side. Yeah, I remember this place. All coming back to me now. Winterize for the season, do not use. Okay, so they're all shut down for winter. I'd assume the water hydrants are shut down as well. Although it's premature because it's still really warm. So I'd assume each side has a water hydrant. They're probably shut off as well, but still gonna pay. This is where I wanna be for the next two nights. Again, you're right in the center of town. So we got diesel trucks blasting by. We got McDonald's golden arches shining on us over here. <laughs> it's a trip. 
overnight right in front of the National Guard building. Well, the fog has burned off this morning, but it's still uh, pretty overcast and breezy and cool out there. Just looking at the forecast, it's definitely a cool off here. This wind has brought in some cooler weather. I think it peaked yesterday with that 70 degree temps. It was just unreal. This feels a little bit more normal. Most of these trees have lost their leaves already. Yeah, I'm just feeling getting a slow, lazy start to the day. It's nice to be warm and cozy in here as that wind blows out there. And of course, we are smack dab in the middle of town here. Here, everyone racing to work. It's actually a school across the street. There's quite a bit of traffic early morning. So getting a little bit of light drizzle. So I'm just kind of, again, just taking it easy. Uh, but there is a museum here in town that I want to check out before we roll out. And there's also a Walmart and this high V across the street. So I'm going to get my supplies stocked up, water jugs all filled up. Ready for life back on the road. Okay, I think we are about ready to roll on out of here. This was an awesome little park to stay at. I actually stayed uh, two nights. I spent the whole day yesterday just hanging out, chilling in the van, laying in bed, watching movies, relaxing. I had worked uh, pretty much without a day off for a whole month. Uh, but today it's time to get up and get rolling. Uh, I'm going to go resupply at the local Walmart and grocery store here and then head on down to this museum that I've been meaning to check out. And then it'll be time to roll on to try to find the next place to camp for the night. Let's do this. Well, it is time to boogie on. We're going to head down the road. Oh, it's just about one mile to this National Musical Instrument Museum. I believe that's what it's titled. And the last time I was through here, they were doing some sort of remodeling or something. Or it was closed. And, uh, so yeah, it's just something I really wanted to check out. It's a collection of different musical instruments, some of them that are, have been owned and played by uh, notable musicians. Well, I really enjoyed my stay there. That was just nice and relaxing. It's pretty quiet. I am looking forward to be more secluded, not camped in a town. But that was actually just what I needed. Uh, I didn't really feel like cooking at all, so I actually ate at McDonald's for dinner and breakfast, which I don't normally do, but it was right down the street and I was able to walk back and forth. But I am going to stop and do some grocery shopping, so I'll be able to get back to cooking. My water jug's all topped off. For being right near a university, it's actually really quiet. It looks like a lot of the students walk and uh, yeah really I've been through college towns that are way busier than this it's very nice nice to be here in the fall all the leaves are falling off the trees here looks like it's free parking permits not required And I don't know where the museum is. It's not straight ahead. So weird seeing all these South Dakota license plates. I'm used to my South Dakota plates in other states. I'm amongst my peoples.
right, well, we got to check out the Music Instrument Museum. It was exactly what I was expecting. It didn't really take me long to soak it all in. It was a relatively short visit. It was $10. Uh, I am all stocked up, watered up, gassed up, ready to roll. So I don't have a very far drive. I'm going to cross over the state line into Nebraska and find a camp spot right on the Missouri River. Should work out. So anyway, yeah, we're going to kick back and just do this short little drive, really like I think 15 miles out of town. So it will be cool to cross over into Nebraska. It has been a while. Geez, I can't even remember the last time. I think I cut down the east side of the state of Nebraska. Last time through there. This uh, time through, we're going to kind of cut diagonally through the whole state from the uh, northeast to the southwest. So we'll see how that goes. I only have a couple camps planned out. So I'll probably be through this state in just a couple days. But we'll see. That could change. It really is pretty out here. All these trees are already turned and losing their leaves. And this cool, cloudy, overcast day is uh, just making it feel like it's fall. Crossing over the Vermilion River. Any water in there? Oh, yeah, a decent amount of water running through there. Well, here we are once again, heading down a gravel road, looking for a camp. This has a little bit of washboard going off. Just going to take our time. Well, this is neat down here, all in the trees. I actually passed by a couple properties. Here's another one on the left. No actual uh, physical dwelling, just a few RVs parked. A nice spot. That one's uh, got a trailer underneath the canopy there. Looks like maybe just a vacation place or weekend place. But quite a few lots with just trailers or RVs. Yeah, some of these places are right on the water. That's cool. Yeah, see this one off to the left here. He's just got a fifth wheel with a little patio deck built off the side of it. He's right on the water. Cool spot. Or what they paid for that. He's got water. I see a hydrant. Probably electricity. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, we're going right under the bridge. Another just fifth wheel parked on a lot, right on the water. They got their own dock and boat. Man, living that river life. Oh, the water looks pretty. I think we'll be, I think I'll be parking right next to the river up here. Check it out. Ah, oh, neat. That was fun camping in town, but this will be a little better. I mean, I'm still just going to be in a boat ramp parking lot, but. Looks like there's a truck and camper up in here already, and very interesting looking camper. What is that? Looks like a little spaceship. Yeah, we gotta drive by this. What is this thing? It looks like a little camper out of the Jetsons or something. What a trip. That is not made in the U.S. I see the guy sitting in there. That'd be cool to talk to him about it. Kimberly Cruiser, Cruiser with a K. He's parked there, so maybe I'll park over here. Okay. All right, so here we are. This is actually nicer than I was expecting. Nestled in the trees here, right on the water's edge. So we are in Nebraska now. A nice little stay in South Dakota, short but sweet on the river here. It is a cool cloudy breezy day. Oh I think the temps are just about 50, 55. Without the sun and the breeze it feels nice and cool. So I'm just parked right here. I'm gonna call this camp for maybe a night or two. We'll see how it goes. Again I am just in the mood to just kick back and relax after working so much. So this seems like quite the place. It's just me and this one other camper over here. A very interesting trailer. I'm hoping I can get a glimpse at that. The Kimberly Cruiser.
it's beautiful out here, but it's chilly, that breeze. Ooh. What a neat spot. So glad I stopped here. Mer. Well, I just wanted to thank you all for joining me on this one. appreciate you following along as I make my uh, trek to warmer weather in the Southwest. Uh, this year I am doing things differently. Uh, typically in past years when I leave this job in North Dakota, it has already turned very cold and snowing and freezing. So I usually go straight south uh, till northern Texas, usually Amarillo, and then start cutting west. This year I'm not doing that. The weather's held off and a little warmer. So for the first time, I'm going to try to kind of cut diagonally through Nebraska into Colorado and then take I-70 across the Rockies. That's usually the factor in previous years is it's already turned and I don't want to do that trek across the Rockies on I-70. Uh, after heavy snowstorms, it's just a mess. I never want to deal with that. Now I have my little trailer behind me, so I'm trying to keep it safe. So it's looking good. Hopefully the weather doesn't turn before I get there and I have to reroute, but that is the current plan. I'm going to try to cross uh, Colorado uh, and then get into Nevada. And I'm probably going to spend a lot of time in Nevada this winter. I'll tell you more about that and the reasons behind that. So anyway, I appreciate you following along. We'll see how it goes if we hit any snow crossing the mountains, but I uh, hope you're doing well out there and we'll see you soon. Take care.